In this problem, we have a hypothesis test for two means. It looks like we have men and women. So if you go here to part A, it says test the claim that men have a higher body temperature than women. So the first step in any hypothesis test is to write down the null hypothesis, which is H sub zero, and the alternative hypothesis, which is H one. So this is a hypothesis test for two means. So the null hypothesis is always mu one equals mu two. So mu one in this problem appears to be the population mean temperature of uh, men, the body temperature of men, and mu two is the mean body temperature of women. So we want to see if men have a higher body temperature. So that would mean that mu one is bigger than mu two. Step two is to figure out the test statistic and step three is the p-value. Whenever you have a problem with the mean, um, you have to decide whether or not to use z or t. Um, if they give you the population standard deviations, you use z. If they don't, you use t. We pretty much always use t uh, because we have s here. s is the sample standard deviation, so we're going to end up using t on pretty much every problem. So you click on question help and you click on stack crunch. I'm going to click this so it's easier to see and slide it over here. There we go. And we're going to go to stat t to sample with summary. Okay. And then you just enter everything. So the sample mean is your x bar, so 97.66. The sample standard deviation is 0.82. And the sample size is 11. The sample mean for women is 97.38. And be really careful when you're typing these in. If you type in one number wrong, it's like, oh, it's, the, whole, the whole thing is wrong. Uh, 59, okay, everything looks okay. Let me just check. 97.66, 0 0.82, 11, yep, looks good. Sample mean, that's our X bar, 97.38. Sample standard deviation, yep, yep. All right, sample size is 59. Many more women in this study, interesting, right? 59 women and 11 men, it's kind of interesting. Um, and then we just change this to greater than. This is zero here. This, this is the same thing as what we have written over here. If, if we were to add mu2 to both sides here of this equation, we would get mu1 equals mu2, which is exactly what's written down over here. So you always leave this at zero, never change it. Uh, everything looks okay. I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, compute. So we want the test statistic, that's our t. So t is equal to 1.0749, 024, why not? And the p-value in this case, p-value is 0.1515. All right. So now we have to decide whether to reject or fail to reject our null hypothesis. So our alpha in this problem, let me figure out what that is. Let's see. Here it is right here, 0 0.05. So alpha is 0 0.05. So if the p-value is smaller than alpha, we reject the null hypothesis. If it's bigger, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. In this case, it's bigger, so we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And then step five is our interpretation. So we always start by mentioning our level of significance. So at the 5% level of significance. So if we reject the null hypothesis, then there is enough evidence to support H1. When you fail to reject, there is not. So there is not, there is not sufficient evidence to support H1. So I'll just say to claim that, and then you can just go to your question. So that men have a higher mean body temperature than women. So that men have a higher mean body temp than women. I'm pretty sure this problem is going to want a confidence interval. So let's go ahead and find that also. Then we'll go through the uh, whole question. So to find the confidence interval, you go back to StatCrunch. And you go to the same place, stat t to sample with summary. So stat t to sample with summary. Let me make this bigger so it's easier to see. Okay, well, it's gone. I got to do it again. Oh, well. 
Um, so again, it's stat t to sample with summary. All right, then we enter everything again. I'm just going to find a confidence interval. I'm pretty sure it's going to ask us that at the end. So 97.66 is our sample mean. Our sample standard deviation was 0.82, and our sample size was 11. Sample mean here was 97.38. Sample standard deviation was um, 0.63. And sample size is 59. And it'll want a confidence interval, so we have to figure out the level. So to figure out the level for the confidence interval, you have to look at your alpha, and you have to look at the tail of the test. So because it's a one-tail test, that means we have a grade of n, you first have to multiply the alpha by 2. So you do 2 times 0.05, that gives you 0.10, and then you do 1 minus that, and that gives you your confidence level. This is your level. So whenever it's less than or greater than, you first have to multiply it by 2 to get your level. If it's not equal to, it would just be 1 minus alpha, so it'd be 0.95. Whenever it's less than or greater than, though, you first have to multiply it by 2 and then do that. So this is going to be our level here. So compute, and there is our confidence interval. Now, I don't know how many decimals it's going to want. Usually it's three, but I'll write down a couple. So negative 0 0.18, 3, 3, 3, 5, 0, 3. 0 0.743333503. Funny, they, they, they both end in, in that 5, 5, 0, 3. Kind of cool. All right. So now we can answer all of the homework questions. So the first part uh, is greater than. Yay, got it right. Test statistic, it wants two decimals. So that would be negative 1.07. Oh, got it wrong. I must have uh, typed in a number wrong. So what we'll do is we'll check. Let's check. So we make it big. So this is what happens when you're actually doing homework. Uh, you make little mistakes. Um, so, oh, I know what I did. There's no negative there, so let's try it. I don't know where I saw the negative from. Hoorah! Okay, so I didn't mess up. I just typed it in wrong. <laughs> P-value, three decimals. Be really careful here, because we have four decimals written down. So that's 0 .1, 0 0.152. 0 0.152. Yes, good job. And we said we failed to reject, and there is not sufficient evidence to say that men have a higher mean body temp. So it's failed to reject, there is not. Looks like it's going to be the last one. Failed to reject the null hypothesis. There is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that men have a higher mean body temperature than women. So it's that one. Here's our, our uh, confidence interval. Notice it doesn't give you the level. So again, recap. Whenever it's a not equal to, it's just 1 minus alpha. So it would have been... 1 minus 0.05, so 0.95. For us, it was greater than, so it's a one-tailed test. So whenever it's a one-tailed test, you first have to multiply the alpha by 2, then do 1 minus. Okay, that's how we got the level. So it wants three decimals. So it looks like it's negative 0.183, and here it's 0.743. Okay, let's try it. Good stuff. And it's asking if it supports the conclusion of the test. Um, yeah, it does. So because the confidence interval contains zero, we can't say that the means are different, right? And that's what we did, right? We failed to reject the null hypothesis. So uh, we can't say that we, we don't have enough evidence to support H1, so we can't say they're different. So I would say yes, because the confidence interval contains zero. So everything is in line. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.